Good morning, class. And today, my speech is about why us as consumers should stop buying false eyelashes that are mink and instead opt for faux mink eyelashes. Faux meaning fake, not like not of so not real mink eyelashes that don't come from a mink a mink is a small um almost like a ferret type of um animal it's actually very cute and essentially what a lot of eyelashes companies do is that they make their eyelash hairs from the mink fur and these companies make millions of dollars in revenue a year off of these little animals now a lot of these companies claim to be cruelty free and they get away with it because by not killing the animal they can say it's cruelty free because they're saying that they didn't harm him which is not necessarily true it's just a way that they're able to market things they're they're able to market these eyelashes so that they can be able to sell to more people because obviously if they didn't include cruelty the cruelty free less people would purchase i being one of them because I, as a consumer years ago i started purchasing mink eyelashes because it, they said that they were cruelty free and that they would only pick them during they would only pick the fur off or they would find it from the farms they had and that it was only during shedding season until I did my research through PETA that it was exposed that that's not really how these mink farms work. They're actually really, really cruel to the animal even though they don't kill them. So the way it works is a lot of these companies, New Bouncem being one of them, this is a mink eyelash company, these little hairs, they come from the mink animal. These sell for about $30, so they make a lot of, these companies do make a lot of revenue off of these animals, and essentially what they do is they breed them and then keep them in captivity. They keep them in really small cages, and um, they brush their hair, their fur, to be able to make the eyelash strip. The problem with this is that, one, they're being left in little cages, and minks are extremely social animals. And when they're in small enclosures, not only do they need a lot of room for them to be able to run around and just be able to live as a living creature, but also to socialize with one another. Because if they don't, they get anxiety. These are very social animals, and with that anxiety, they start to scratch themselves, bite themselves. They basically self-harm, and in doing so, they can get very bad infections. They basically also, these scab wounds that they cause on themselves end up getting infected because the areas and enclosures in which they live in are not sanitary. And there's really no regulation for these farms. So they can just get away with keeping these animals in really small tight spaces away from one another. So in order to prevent this, what we can do is 
instead of buying mink eyelashes to buy the faux mink eyelashes. Now, a lot of people don't know this, so it is very important for us to be aware and spread the message about this so that these companies can stop harming these little creatures. And us as consumers, well, we can also buy the foam ink eyelashes because they're also cheaper, half the price, because they are synthetic. They come from plastic, essentially, but they look exactly the same. And in doing so, we would not only save money, but we would also be saving a creature's life because they, even though they're not killed by the man manufa manufacturer themselves, they do die inside these enclosures because essentially they die of loneliness or and or infection and disease that come from these enclosures. So that, therefore, the best option for anyone that does want to buy a mink eyelash is to buy a foam mink eyelash.